So after having my DNA tested, I spent a lot of time in research to figure this one out, dive a little deeper. DNA is something that pretty much every living being has. Um, it is a special genetic marker that's linked directly to you. Um, nobody else has it unless you're a twin. Uh, we'll get back to that later. Um, why DNA testing is important, it's really just important to figure out who you are and where you came from, your origin. And so that's where we go for it. But what is DNA? The axial ribo ribonucleic acid, which we we'll say that three times fast, as a self replicating material that is in everyone's body. Now, its main constituent is of chromosomes and it carries all your genetic information. Um, and the certain types of tests I'm going to explain. Um, some pertain to um, male and female and just male or female. Um, the Y line is male only. Um, and it's male only because the father passes it down to his son and that's the only way it can go. It doesn't pass off from uh, male to female in that aspect. Now the mDNA, which is passed down from mothers to both genders, of their, uh, both genders of children, but it works down only on the women's side. So the mother passes it to the daughter, the daughter passes it to her daughter, so forth, so on, so on, and the male never carries it on. And then the autosomal DNA tests for the rest of the DNA provided by both parents in the 23 chromosomes. Um, the X chromosome is the special inheritance, uh, has the special inheritance properties. It's one of the sides if you're a female or female. Um, so there's a few ways that you can go about getting these tests done. Um, there's a few websites, or you can go to Walgreens or CVS to pick these tests up. Um, there's the Ancestry.com, Family Tree DNA, and then 23andMe. Each of these, you can buy a test depending on what you purchase and how much you want to pay. Then you can get um, different genetic tests done from that. Um, there are surname projects which you can type in on Google, um, DNA surname, put your last name in, and find your way down. Um, became, because D and our Y DNA is passed down from father to son, just as surnames are passed down in Western societies, it's easy to visualize because it works down just along through the male. Um, these types of tests um, and what they consist of, um, their purpose is autosomal is a family finder that matches your ethnic percentages. Like mine, I was 98.5% um, Northwestern European. Um, the autosomal uh, Plus 37 marker just adds an extra 37 markers into the autosomal uh, genetic test. And there's autosomal 67, which is a male specific bundle, and it works its way down just for men. Um, then there's the autosomal MT full sequence, which is a family funder, plus the mitochondrial sequence for both male and females, and it works out for everybody with an internal line. And there's pricing for each one of those, and going back on the list, it's 78, 278, 348, and 278 as well. Now, while in the male test, females do not inherit Y chromosome. The mother is always an X chromosome, and the father is an X or a Y. You get your um, gender property from your father, not your mother. So your father can give you an X chromosome or a Y, and that's what debates your gender. Um, the chromosome inherited from the father um, is what debates all that. Um, and then back to the twin situation. Identical twins have the same DNA because they originate from the same egg, which divides into two embryos after it's fertilized. They are always the same sex and the same blood type, though the fingerprints will differ. So in conclusion, we went back over everything. Um, DNA is what we all have. It carries inside of our bodies. It's what determines who we are, what we look like, what we'll become, even how we'll die in some aspect. Thank you.